Welcome back to my garage. Over here we have uh, the old broken sleeve. And here we have a, a blank new sleeve. So I need to put some holes in this sleeve, which isn't too much of a problem, uh, except for the, the transfers, because they are a bit of a pain in the ass to do it when it's in place in the cylinder. I don't really have the, the right tools for the job, so it's taking a, a very long time. I will show you what I'm using. So for the, the rough boarding with the sleeve in the cylinder, I, I use this, uh, this Chinese angled tool. It's not great, but it's, uh, it, it works pretty good. And then for Finishing it up, I use this little dentist tool. As you can see, it's pretty small. Well, it's pretty handy because I I can get that everywhere. Uh, it's no no problem to get at all the angles and and stuff like that. I have some more tools for it too. But because it's so small, it takes a very long time to to do to do the sleeve. It's going a lot faster even when it's just cast aluminium. So my idea is I have a pretty good template on this old sleeve because I actually went through a lot of hours of porting to get it to match the, the casting. So I'm going to make a template from this sleeve using some of this paper and I will wrap that around the new sleeve and that should allow me to do most of the work outside the cylinder where, where I can get every, at everything from all angles and it should go a lot faster. I, I still need to leave a, a little bit to finish up with the uh, sleeve in place because you only have about five to ten seconds to put the sleeve in before it's solid. So yeah, that's the idea. <coughs> so um, let me make a, a template and uh, I'll get back to you after that. So it's now the next day. This should be the JB Weld should be dry at least. So let's take a look what it looks like I haven't checked yet so maybe it will not be good but we'll see I guess it looks like it will uh, looks like it's sealed probably have to do a bit of cleaning up Make sure the connecting rod doesn't uh, doesn't touch it. Check the other one. A little piece of plastic did did the job perfectly. As you can see here, it's. Uh, Yeah, it worked fine as a, as a little mold. <coughs> Going to have to shave that a little bit. Going to put some on the outside as well. And on this half, I still have to do uh, the other side. But this looks like it will work, I think. Let me go get the crankshaft and we'll see if it's, uh, if it's going to rub or not. My <laughs> little holder. So 
over here we have the damaged spot. And here's where the exciting part is. Uh, it's almost touching, but not quiet, so... Just a little bit of shaving down and it should be fine. That's good. I don't know if I can get the bearing uh, into the, the ring here. It's a pretty tight fit. But we'll, I will try. I'm not going to press it in or anything because I think you get the idea. But No, that's not going in, it's too, or at least not without a little more force. So. But I think that will be fine now. Shave it down a little bit and uh, yeah, that should be fine. So I'm calling this a success for now. Now I just have to do the other side here. <coughs> Clean this side uh, a little better, and then it should be should be good again. So let's make a template. Going to the intake is going to be different, so I'm not going to. Put that in the template. My paper is too short anyway. Let's see. Putting the paper up against the uh, whatever it's called, the, the sticking out thingy. <laughs> And I'll do the same on the on the new sleeve, so then the port will end up in exactly the same height. I think that's good enough. Let's see if my fingers are dirty enough for this. Port here. See the outline appearing on the paper. Crap. I uh, have some tape over the other port. I think I need dirtier fingers. Hang on, let me see. Oh, that's much better. Luckily, I have lots of used oil in containers in my garage. Here's the exhaust port. So I'm just rubbing the edges of the port and the dirt on my finger is making the outline. You probably understood that, but I figure I would mention it anyway. So there you have it, my port map. Let me go cut it out. Not going to show you that. I'm showing you anyway. So now let's tape this onto the new sleeve. to start putting the holes in uh, in the mill most of the work in that was it's it's fast and then finish it up by hand outside the cylinder press it in and then finish it up inside the cylinder
So there we go. Uh, transfers and exhaust are in. I have a lot of finishing up to do, but at least this is a start. Yeah. Compare that to the, the old sleeve. See, there's a little widening and stuff to do, but yeah, so it's a good start, I think. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up would be nice, and see you next time.